Hi, Bob Thompson for Smartphone Matters. Today we're going to take a look at some speed test results for Google's Project Fi. You can see here on my left I have the Google Nexus 6 running on the Google's Fi network and on the right I have my iPhone 6 using Straight Talk's AT&T network. So I thought it would be a nice idea if we did some side-by-side -side speed test comparisons. So we got the test running here on the Nexus 6 and it's still starting up on the iPhone 6 and we'll take a look at the results. All right, so immediately here during this front, uh, this uh, first run, we're seeing that was getting some uh, very good uh, results on both networks. I had 23.13 uh, 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 megabits per second down on the Nexus 6 using Phi, and uh, for some reason the Straight Talk ATT network was uh, screaming at this location, coming in at over 50 megabits per second. All right, so uh, we'll run a few more tests here, and then we'll take a look at those results as well. I got the uh, second test running. Uh, again, some pretty impressive results on uh, both networks. We can see that the uh, uh, Nexus 6 is getting uh, about 25 megabits per second down. And then again, the... Uh, uh, Straight Talk ATT network uh, clocking in at over 55 uh, megabits per second down. So that's some real amazing results there. All right, so those were the uh, second test that we've run. And we'll do another one. So uh, while this is running, a couple things that uh, I'll point out. Uh, one, you can see that the uh, ping times on uh, both networks are, are looking very low, and, and that the lower number for the ping is better. That's a measure of uh, latency. It means you're getting a faster response. And then again, the results for this third test are looking like they're lining up uh, the same. And then the other thing I would uh, point out was that uh, in the office where I made this video, uh, I had some trouble getting an LTE connection on Google's uh, Project Fi network. It's uh, definitely on the uh, T-Mobile network in my area, and I had to move around in the office until I found a desk where I was getting an LTE signal to make this video. All right, so we're, we're seeing uh, very consistent results here uh, again. We'll just let this run. Uh, one thing that I am noticing is that while I'm getting uh, very good download speeds on uh, uh, Phi, on the Phi network, the upload speeds are not uh, really looking like uh, they're all that amazing. All right, let's take a look at the results. For the uh, Phi network, the fastest download speed was 25.74 megabits per second. The slowest was 23.13 megabits per second. The upload speeds, however, were disappointing with Phi, the fastest being only 1.46 megabits per second and the slowest being 1.21 megabits per second. The ping times were all in the 60s, which is uh, pretty good. The lower the number for the ping, the better. That's a measure of responsiveness. All right, let's take a look at the results from the Straight Talk ATT network. Our fastest download speed was 56.18 megabits per second, while the slowest was 50.9 megabits per second. The fastest upload speed was 10.04 megabits per second, while the slowest was 5.85 megabits per second. The ping results were all in the 70s. All right, well, to sum it up, the uh, Google Fi network looked pretty impressive with speeds around 25 megabits per second down. Not too impressive with uh, speeds less than 1.5 megabits per second up. The uh, surprise today was the Straight Talk ATT network delivering over 50 megabits per second down and between 5 and 10 megabits per second up. I've never seen uh, speed results that high. They must be doing a lot of work on the ATT network in my area because uh, the speeds are really quite improved from test run at that same location. 
All right, well, I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you found it useful, give us a like on YouTube. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to the Smartphone Matters YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, head on over to the companion article on Smartphone Matters and leave a reply, and I will try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.